I was concerned when I woke up sick that I wasn't going to be the only one, having watched what was going on on all the NBA teams. About a week before us, the NBA started it. We were in the locker room getting ready to play Alabama State. Coaches came in, told us the game was canceled. It's been probably like almost a month since we played, so kind of a roller coaster. I mean, I know none of us know how any of us got it. It was just, uh, you know, trying to tell the guys to make sure they're careful and they, they follow the rules of quarantine. Uh, and it just is what it is. So we were down to a few guys that haven't had it. And so with, that's my biggest concern is bubble wrapping those guys for the rest of the year. I had never got it. Um, so I was just able to train and tighten up. So I personally might feel even more prepared. So we lost four. You know, hopefully we don't have to do too much more of it. We get that from the Pac-12, you know, it, playing on the fly. My, my thing is, look, health and safety of our team is most important. Most of the guys had it, so they were kind of just resting and making sure that they felt better. Um, but for the rest of us, Nate, our strength coach, he gave us some routines to work on. Um, but there was nothing really specific. It kind of felt like another off season. You know, when you're in season with practices and games, you're not able to go that hard. Um, tightening up skills, and especially in the weight room, you kind of have to limit to make sure you're staying healthy and you're not um, pushing too much load. So having a stretch without a game, you never find that in a season. I mean, 12 days or 13 days, you'll never get that. So I was able to get some really good weight room time working on my body where I didn't have to worry about an upcoming game. Like, I think it could be a plus, like, to be fresh like that again and midway through the season, you know? So I think it could be helpful for us. Uh, you know, maybe you, you appreciate the game more. Um, you appreciate being healthy more. You appreciate each other more. With, with uh, Nate Germa and Tyler Lesh, our trainer, and uh, my coaching staff, navigating, keeping guys healthy, and getting the guys back in shape. I mean, you got a guy who's in Dunning for two weeks, you can't just throw him in a game. You know, that's how he's going to get hurt. And I wouldn't let that happen. So uh, I treat these guys, I'm tough on them and I'm demanding if people see that on the sideline. But when it comes to their health and well being as people, I'm overprotective like they're my children. We're going to start stretching at around 45. Sit back, reach. Make sure you hit those hamstrings hard. Tiger, hips, inside. Good warm up, good lift, good practice. Who do you think we can get on such short notice? What team do you think we'll play? Cal Poly. Cal Poly? USC? <laughs> Working to that ankle. You're gonna have to crease the Jordans for this one. Reach, 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 reach. Look at Dave, looking like a stomp the yard extra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get upstairs. All right, Kenny, stop shaking and get upstairs. <laughs> right, right, quick lift, be strong, be fast. Let's get it. Hey, P.Y. Disperse and get stronger. Yep, pulling with that left hand. You're gonna reach. So you gotta sink into that right hip. It's like a lateral, lateral lunge. Drop your hips more than your upper body. Instead of being here, you just squat down there. There you go. Lunge and push out. Yeah, Cody, you're feeling good today. I say, you're feeling good today, I see it. Good range, bro. Yeah, it means you're getting good range of motion. Yeah. Appreciate right. it, Big Nate. Right. Have a good practice. You got it. Johnny Juzang, he is the team's leading scorer. Johnny Juzang. Johnny Juzang. Juzang. What a shot by Johnny Juzang. Big thing for me before games is just being present and making sure I'm in the moment and just connecting with myself. So that's something I do before every game. Um, and it could be different because every day is different. So just making sure I, I'm connected and I'm one with myself and I'm present going into the game. I just try to find my flow, um, find my rhythm, and also just make sure that everything's sharp so that preparation is super important. All those little details are all lined up. But, you know, I try not to think about much. Um, 
When I shoot the best, my thoughts that it's going in. Something that I took from reading about some archery was actually you're almost trying to surprise yourself with a release. So you don't want to time it up and tense up when you release, when you pull a bow, you're breathing and you just want to let go once it feels right and surprise yourself with it. I try not to like time it up or focus too hard because you'll kind of tense up. So you're kind of letting that breath out and just letting it go. Um, but I try not to think about too much when you're shooting the shot that's aggressive. You just want to be in a confident like mind frame. I want to land like that every time. Absorb, good. It's super important to keep lifting and you know getting treatment and all sorts of exercises just to like keep yourself there and steady and hopefully you know maybe get better through the season but at least stay steady because it's a you know serious advantage having athleticism and quick burst and being able to explode and lateral quickness so I'm always trying to get better there just to keep advancing my game but equally as important is the maintenance side of it and staying healthy you still have to keep certain things activated and mobile and loose and firing things like that just to stay healthy and, and to maintain your body through a season. When I was that young, I didn't really know anything. I was just the, uh, the park team I was on. We were the Bruins. I think I became more and more a fan as I got older. Um, but even when I was younger, I mean, I grew up in LA, so it was a team. It's such a special thing to be a part of, and then, you know, I should keep playing, and we've got a chance to do something this year, you know, even more special. God willingly, you realize how powerful it is, and even already, you know, just some of, like, the accolades or records are like, wow you know, because the names that you're up there with. It's incredible, so by no means are we satisfied, am I satisfied, we want to keep, you know, writing our names into that uh, historic legacy. I think that little time off brings a whole new energy. You know, the stretch of a season can get long, so coming back into practice, it's super competitive. Everyone's super focused. And everybody's just excited to get to that next game. So so hopefully with Cody back, that's the thing I'm most excited for Cody, you know. And then secondly, for our team to be able to be whole. Uh, but mostly for him, you know, it's a senior year. I'm less concerned, I should say, with our opponent than I am with trying to find a rhythm with our team again. Me as their coach, substitution patterns, uh, our offensive flow and getting us, you know, into where we're, we're playing with one heartbeat and, and a rhythm. But it could take us a little time, we'll see. But we're just gonna have to keep plugging and fight through it. Let's get it! Let's get it. Feeling great, first day out. I've been eating a lot of fat tigers, uh, smash rolls, and make cronies in the early morning. Hopefully get me right. <laughs> Bruins will go left to right. The ball is smacked over towards us. Johnny Juzang makes a play on it on the near sideline. And the Bruins will turn it across with double team. Finds the open man, Jules Bernard, with six. Crossover dribble, getting to the right elbow. Fade away, 15-footer on the way. It's good. Pretty shot. Okay, in the national stage, you got to keep winning, right? You got time for that. You keep winning, and uh, the more you win, the more people put their eyes on you. Pull the clock at the top of the key, right back to Campbell. NBA range three, he rattles it in. And uh, it was great to see that, you know, he's feeling comfortable. Bernard between the circles. Lobs to Juzang, right wing three is good with a switch. Oh, yeah, no, Juz is so talented, man. Um, really talented, versatile scorer, so it's good that we have options with, you know, different guys, different nights, or, uh, you know, can produce. They're neither one of them are relying upon one thing. That's why they're able to score consistently. But they got a great point guard. They had 10 assists and no turnovers. That helps. Tiger Campbell's getting to a stop, beating inside Peyton Watson. Reverse layup is really good. Really when you have someone who who can handle the ball and, and find find teammates and you know create for himself as well. So you know we have a lot of talent and and I think you know having him at the head you know as a as a point guard is is amazing. Bruins have won it 96 to 78. They finally got to play again, and they get that win on home court.